are you a content creator on a budget and you want one of those fancy studio setups without having to break your bank or use green screen look no further jesse and ai is here to help you today i'm going to be teaching you how to change your studio setup for free like you don't have to buy any props you don't have to do anything ai is here to do everything for you first of all there are rules you have to follow when shooting the video number one is to ensure that your background is plain like this background i have now as opposed to having a rowdy one and you would see why when we are editing the video you also have to ensure that your lighting and camera is stable which means it is better to use artificial lighting as opposed to using natural light you can use natural light though but you have to use it on the day the weather is stable so that your lighting will be even throughout the video and last but not the least you have to ensure that you're within a frame i would advise you to turn on your grid line when you're filming so that you will ensure that you're put together and not just scattering your hands everywhere because it will make editing really difficult now after filming your video the next step is to take a screenshot of your video you can export a screenshot from your editing app to ensure that it is of high quality but if your editing app cannot do that you can just simply take a screenshot using in your phone and now because i want to make every step completely free so you don't have to pay anything i'm going to be using an app called vidmix to edit this video and with vidmix you can export quality screenshots from your video i have a link to the app in the description box in case you're interested in it now let's go to vidmix so now the link will direct you to the app and then you go to open file click on files then select the video you want to edit so when it's done uploading place your mouse to where you would prefer to take as a screenshot then click on export png still and ok and it downloads the image as a png this is how it looks like so now that we are done taking the screenshots, the next step is to go to an app called Adobe Firefly. I also have the link in my description box in case you want to follow this tutorial. So yeah, you go to Adobe Firefly. Now in Adobe Firefly, go to Generative Field. Then you sign in using your Gmail account. Click on Upload Image. Select your preferred screenshots. Click on remove to get rid of unwanted objects. Then you use your finger to touch every part you want to get rid of. Then click on remove and it's clear. Next is to insert your preferred design. Click on insert, then touch the part you want to insert an object. Then write what you want to be inserted there. For instance, I wanted to have a plant, so I write generate a house plant and it would give you several options to choose from. If you don't like any of the options, you can just click on more and it would generate more options. Now I want a bookshelf up here, so I will type Add a bookshelf to fit the background. Unfortunately, I don't really like the options it gave me, but basically you can write as many prompts as you want to as you want it to generate, and then you choose your preferred one. I want a wall decoration up here, so I just highlighted it and write add an art piece, and it will generate different art piece for me to select from i like this one you can still make changes to other things you don't like you can also change the whole of your background if you want you just simply click on background and it should get rid of all the background then you can give it whatever prompt you want it to create for you when you're done generating your preferred design click on download and continue and your image will be downloaded and that's it so now that we are done editing the image we have to go back to vidmix to continue editing the original video 
Now back in the vidmix app, we are going to overlay the edited image on the video. So go to open file, click on the files, select the edited image. Then extend the image to the beginning of the video. Then click here to mask. Use this max setup to ensure that the mask is seamless and there are no ash lines. Now clean out the middle area so that the video underneath can appear. Well, the problem now is this Adobe Firefly watermark, which we got because it's free, because we use the free version. And if we try to remove the watermark, it will disrupt the edited image there. So I decided to pick a different image and did the same thing. Then mask, clean up the middle. As you can see, there is no design at the corner of this image, so it will be easy to mask out the watermark, which I'm doing now by just rubbing out that area. So now I would extend the image to the end of the video so that every part of the video would have the background. Also, you have to watch every part of the video while editing it to ensure that every part is maxed properly. Now, when you're done, download your video by clicking on export, increase bitrate, and OK. And now, this is how the video looks like. Now, AI is taking the jobs of home decor and tech gadget companies. So, do you think AI can take yours? Let's discuss in the comment section. I want to know what you think about this. And don't forget to give me a big fat thumbs up. Come on now. I deserve it. I don't I deserve it. Subscribe for more simple editing tutorials like this. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.